Georgia High School All-Star Football Game, the 50th edition, is coming up after this local break. This is the Georgia High School All-Star Network. The uh, captains are out there while we take a look now at the South Squad, Larry, as and we take a look at the entire team. They're going to be in red, by the way, for the benefit of the listener. And the North that we just took a look at two, three minutes ago will be in white. Boy, there's a guy to watch, Charlie Ward, and watch him through his collegiate career as well. We're going to talk about where he's going to school, a little change in plans for Charlie Ward, but a tremendous athlete and will really light up the offense, both in the air game and on the ground for the South Squad tonight. This is Dandy out of Valdosta. This is a South team, man for man, the entire squad, offense and defense. Many of them chase the course by more than just one or two major schools. A few of them are going on to junior college first. You'll see a lot of that young man, Kurt Douglas, Larry, in years to come for the Georgia Bulldogs, and he is a hitter. He'll be all over the field tonight if he doesn't end up with a dozen tackles. I'll be a little bit surprised. Handicap, though, because he can't blitz, can he? He's That's right. To stay home. Got to keep that in mind. Even the uh, safeties have to stay yeah. at least three yards off the line, right? Everybody does. No blitzing, and you can't come up, and the linebackers have to stay three yards off the line of scrimmage at all times. And a look at the coaching staff, Butch Brooks' assistants. Well, one of them snuck in there. Jimmy Mickens heading to Morehouse here in Atlanta, the Atlanta area. Middle Tennessee made out well as far as players from around the state of Georgia. They really recruited yeah, that's heavily a, in this area. That's a surprise. Eric Curry, one to watch. He'll play for Bill Curry at Alabama, and he's got that size to be a Cornelius Bennett type, maybe, 6'6", 220. And he was a terror in the Florida-Georgia All-Star game as well. There's a look at the coaching staff now. And there's Marion Butch Brooks, the head coach, who we already spoke with. Captain's out at midfield and just about ready for the coin toss to see who's going to get the football first here in this 50th annual edition of the Georgia High School All-Star Football Game at Bobby Dodd Stadium, Grant Field in Atlanta. And let's go down to the coin toss right now, Larry, and find out who's going to get the football first. All Again, right. remember the rule, uh, the eight-point rule. We're going to have to keep bringing that up, aren't we? That's right. If you're eight points down, even after you score, you can still uh, still receive. And by the way, the ball will be brought back to the exact middle of the field after every play, not to the hash marks. It's going to come right back to the middle. Larry and John and I have already decided. John, you can you can almost cheat a little bit in this game because if you're uh, if you want to miss an extra point on purpose yes. and get okay, the football back, that would work, wouldn't it? I was just thinking about, about that, but asking oh, a guy like Chris Gardaki to miss an extra yeah. point is almost sacrilegious. <laughs> it really is. Called heads, Captain called heads. It is heads. They win the toss. What's your choice? They want the ball, man. What goal would you <laughs> Turn you back there if you would. Do us here, please. All the time. All the time. Charlie Ward says we want the football. South wins the toss and have elected to receive. Just about set to go. We'll see Charlie Ward and his offensive group first. And he is an exciting quarterback. We'll watch him as the night rolls along. This ball game started 50 years ago. They missed four years during the war. But this is still technically the 50th anniversary. Gardaki will kick off for the North. And this is a 1988 Georgia high school game. North against the South. Gardaki, one of America's highly publicized kickoff kids the last couple of years. From Redan High School, going to Clemson. Puts his left foot into it, and she hooks to one side, hits on the five, bounces, hits Dandy on the leg. He picks it up on the bounce to the 10, gets in trouble, and the North's going to eat him up around the 12-yard line. Scott Boykin from Central Carrollton, a linebacker, one of the first men to hit him for the North. The secondary, and they're going to see it coming their way if indeed the South decides they're going to go for it. They won't now. Charlie Ward will drop back. He averaged over 40 yards a punt in high school. Fourth down, long yardage, about 13 or 14 to go, and the kick is going to be short and low, and then over end, taken on a run on the 45-yard line. And he's hit on about the 32. Dale Carter from Newton County, a defensive back, 6'2", 180 pounds. Jeff Howard, the quarterback from Morrow High School. Mabry and Randy Southern, the running backs. He's got him in an eye with two wideouts moving on the line, and the South nose guard shoved him back with Tim Green of Bainbridge. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Jeff Morrow, excuse me, if Bud Theodosian, head coach of Morrow, doesn't go to the end zone with this play. First and five, you got a lot of momentum. Looking at the 5-2, it's almost the 5-4. He's dropping back to throw. Somebody on him. Got the little screen off complete. The Carter counter to the 20 to the 15. They'll knock him out around the 6. Howard got some pressure from the outside and felt that pressure, John, and played it well. Howard does a tremendous job. He, lead, he, he leads the pressure on. Come get me, come get me. Drops it off to Crowder, who makes a one-handed grab, picks up his block here and gets outside. Tremendous play by, by both the quarterback, the receiver, as well as the lineman on the block. In a power eye, and they go to the tail, and the south defense gives him a yard and a half. That's Walt Crowder, again, from Central Carrollton. Kurt Douglas of Lincoln County, the big linebacker, the first guy that hit him, and Tim Green, the nose guard, who weighs 280. He's got a slot to the right side, stops, looks, fakes, and tries to dump it over the middle. He was getting hit as he did, however. Roderick Tripp from Tolliver in Greensboro, weighs 248. A defensive tackle was a guy that really bothered him and even got his hand on it when he threw it. Well, South bent a little bit, and the North had great field position. But they've held their ground now, and it's fourth down. 24-yard attempt. Jeff Howard's going to hold. Howard, the quarterback of North, will hold. Boy, did they knock on the door fast in this one and got turned aside. They set it down, and he sticks his foot into it way up there in the seats. It's good. And the North leads immediately here, virtually, at least in the first four minutes, three to nothing. Larry Munson, Brad Nessler, John Dewberry. Bobby Dodd Stadium in Atlanta. All right, North in great position after Carter's punt return. They're sitting there on the South's 41. Five minutes left in the quarter. They lead three to nothing as they go to a little offset eye with two wideouts. And the handoff trap in the middle, and that'll be Walt Crowder of Central Carrollton. Stopped by Scott Ariel from Bainbridge High School. They spotted him down. Actually, they moved the spot back a couple of yards, so picked up about four. Second down, long six. Two wideouts looking at the 5-2, and back is Howard. Down the middle, a man open, complete in the 30, the 26. Derek Gosher from Brookstone. Slot the receivers to the left, and they look at a what is about a 5-3, and they come inside and cut back to the 20, and that's Lewis Jackson again from Southwest to Cab. Kurt Douglas, a linebacker from Lincoln County, the guy that hit him on the 20. Split two wide outs. Little toss sweep. One man missed him, and they racked him after three yards. That was Walt Crowder at Central Carrollton, who started out and cut back inside the tackle. Boy, he slid nice along Dwayne Simmons, who came in there, the linebacker, who's got tremendous speed, and he sidestepped him, and Crowder did a little dance to pick up the yardage. Okay, power eye, everybody in close, and they only need six, seven inches. And they'll get it to spare and drive it about four yards right up the middle. Walt Crowder of Central Carrollton. Again, hit first by Kirk Douglas, a linebacker. Both linebackers in the south out of Lincoln County. Dwayne Simmons and Kirk Douglas and both in on the last stop. Third down inside the five. They're in an eye and now looking at a stack, kind of a 6-3 in close. Little toss sweep. There's a hole. Touchdown, and that's Walt Crowder scoring for the North. North leads 10-0, early second quarter. South sitting down there on the eight-yard line where the penalty gave them the last chunk of that yardage, but here they are and a chance to tighten that ball game up. They split two men out, running back side by side. They look at a five-man line, and they go to Townsend again, and there goes Townsend driving, and he got in there. Tim Townsend, 5'10", 195 of Effingham County. North up to the line now in good position. Wright Mitchell, their quarterback, inside the South 40. Run a trap, and he can't go. They knock him down. That was Alex Smith of Lakeshore High School. And Dwayne Simmons. 
Another one of those Lincoln County linebackers. He was a guy that read it and knocked him down. Getting a little late now in the second quarter. Here comes Mitchell back to throw. Over the middle, broken up by Dwayne Simmons of Lincoln County, one of the linebackers. And tied it for Derek Gaucher or Brookstone, the tight end. Talked about these linebackers, Kirk Douglas and Dwayne Simmons. As we get another look from right behind the quarterback, we'll this see this play develop. Mitchell, the quarterback, with two wide outs. Going to take it, try to come inside, and the red lineman won't let him go. Randy Southern of Lafayette tried to punch it in. Dwayne Simmons, one of the Lincoln County linebackers, was stabbing in there, and Green was there, and Big Chapman and Tripp. North third down in the south 17. Right Mitchell would love it, the quarterback. Drop it straight back and look. Dump it out there, complete in the 20. And they'll beat to the 10. Randy Southern, he threw it to the running back who had a blocker with him. Well, if they give him a good spot, he's got a first down. Dandy, and the I think cornerback. they did. It looks like it, huh? Same little option route we talked about before. This time he elected to drop it off to his back and a good choice. As you see him mow over there, and you mentioned for the first down, big number 32. Second down, goal to go. Right, Mitchell drops straight back for the north. One man rushes and misses him. He's back to the 25, and now he's going to run it and get inside the 10. And just keeps fighting to the five or maybe the four and a half. Douglas, the linebacker, Tim Green, a nose guard. Two of the men in red shirts had grabbed him. He got about 10, but he needed 15. That's a hungry quarterback. As we take a look, you'll see Curry come in and get a hand on him at least to twist his helmet a little bit right there. Makes a good decision to run this football, but uh, somebody better feed him if he's hungry because that's not gonna, he's not going to last a whole <laughs> long time in college doing that kind of thing. Souths in a 5-4. Right Mitchell going to throw it in the corner, and... Touchdown. He caught it again in the air. Paul Etheridge from Maris High, 6'6", 205-pound tight end, up reaching for it as he turned to face a quarterback, juggled it going down, but held on. North's got an 11-point lead, 17-6. They led early, 10-0. Gardaki will again be kicking off for the North. They're in white, the South in red. Minute and 46 left in the half. And Gardaki stuck his foot in there. He's going to be taken on the nine by Calvin King of Worth County. Trying to break loose up the middle and got to the 30. Alex Chambliss of Clarkston High School headed for Georgia Southern. First guy that hit him. Man in motion coming in, a little toss sweep. And they're going to swing him outside, but he got driven out after three yards. Walt Crowder, Central Carrollton, who ran well. The North leading 17 to 6, third and seven. They're in South Territory on the 42. Howard back to throw, puts it out in that left flat, where he's got a blocker and uses it enough, but gets wrestled out a few yards shy of a first down. It was Lewis Jackson, one of the running backs from Southwest to Cab. Dennis Tillman of Columbus Carver, the guy who grabbed his shirt and wouldn't let him get the first down. Let's take a network timeout here. We'll be right back. Georgia High School All-Star Game here at Bobby Dodd Stadium. Right now, let's pause to let our local stations identify themselves. You're watching WATL, Atlantis 36. Second down on the four for the South. Slot out to the right, looking at a six-man line. And he runs a trailer pitch and a touchdown in the corner to Dexter Copeland. 
Minute and 48 in the third quarter, and the team in red, the South, still fighting to come from behind. They've cut it to three now, and Joey Tollison kicks off for them. Good kick. You got the one and a half, and that's Mabry going to fly right up the middle and get hit hard on the 27. South is fired up now as they had an 80-yard touchdown drive and then a great kickoff and nice coverage. Kurt Douglas hit him. All right, Jeff Howard of Morrow High School, the quarterback for the North. They're on the 27. Their lead is cut to three, and Howard's back. Little shovel pass inside to Lewis Jackson. And he picked up on the play about four or five. Jeff Howard, toss sweep, try to get a man outside, but he's in trouble, and he won't go anywhere. Fly it down. Douglas led the charge. Closing the part of you, on the left part of your screen, he, right there on right the ground. Right down there was Vic Taylor who had the penetration and Evans with the block from behind. Start of the fourth quarter. 17 to 14. North's got the ball. The North's got the lead. Let's go to the sidelines and Earl Jones. Coach, hey, you're coming back in the game. Well, we, we've been lucky. Our kids are working hard. Now, I think the tide's turning a bit. We made as many mistakes as you can make that first half, and it was fortunate we were not further down than we were. But our kids are working hard, and they're hanging in, and that's all I can have. Okay, Coach, keep it up. Jeff Howard scrambling, going in the middle, complete to a running back, Lewis Jackson. He's all the way up to about the 48, and look at him spin and twist, trying to get to the 50. Dwayne Simmons of Lincoln County, Kirk Douglas of Lincoln County, the linebackers finally knocking him down he does a great job has great vision as a quarterback he buys himself some time not a great scrambler but quick enough to buy some time and smart throw there right before the pressure unloaded on him for a big play to number 22 Lewis Jackson they come up to the line third down and eight they got about 20 and they needed almost 30 the clock has only 736 to go. North's got the ball and they still got a three-point lead. Right Mitchell will love it high. He's back in at quarterback for them. They're in white as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Mitchell slot right, puts the inside man in motion, tries to cross inside and can't go anywhere. Randy Seven, the big running back, weighs 230. Dwayne Simmons in on the hit, along with Tony Leonard. Leonard, a big kid from Manchester, 265, a big defensive tackle. Bainbridge, that's right, he's 280. Second down, about 10 and a half. North up to the line of scrimmage. Running back shifts because he lined up wrong for a moment. Fake the toss sweep. They're going to chase the quarterback and eat him up back inside the 30. Dennis Tillman from Columbus Carver. Defensive end got right Mitchell way back there. So the North is on their own 10-yard line, and Jeff Howard is a quarterback. He hands it to the tail. Crowder going to veer outside to the 12 to the 15, and they knock him out around the 15. Flag comes down late. Let's see what kind of a penalty. North trying to get out of a hole here. Can't say enough about Alex Smith. I mean, Pat Dye has got to really feel good about this young kid. Second and 12. North up to the line of scrimmage. Howard looking at that 5-2 setup on a trap. And Crowder got hit behind the line. Walt Crowder. Wayne Simmons again, the linebacker. Simmons and Maurice Price. Price 6'4", 305 from Montgomery County. Dwayne Simmons, one of the Lincoln County linebackers who had a lot of stops. Now that loss put him back in the five. They're in serious trouble here on third down.
337 and the clock running. 1714 North. 332 and the clock running. Howard back in the end zone. Fires. Almost intercepted. And then caught. Oh no, they're not gonna get it. Incomplete it on the sideline. We had a pass more or less poorly thrown to an open receiver deep as the South was coming down threatening to score, which turned out to be a reasonably easy interception. And then a play calling factor possibly near midfield here a moment ago. Run around a toss sweep to Crowder. The North Vision Crowder almost broke it loose. He did get down to about the 28. Dwayne Simmons of Lincoln County hit him. South keeps trying to stop the clock. We're down to 28 seconds now. Nineteen seconds now. North up to the line. Still in control of it. They have been for about a minute now. 17-14. They toss it to Crowder again. And they knock him down and he got about nine inches. North doesn't care. It's their ball game. There's the last time out. South's got a man down. Dwayne Simmons, a linebacker, probably like stop the clock with him if they could. Oh, it's Eric Curry, 81, not 61, right. I guess. And now one play left. First game played on the new turf here at Georgia Tech. Seven seconds. North leads 17-14. Defensively, hard to pick who may have been the most outstanding player on the field. Though, again, that kick returner also played defensive corner for the North. But then there was a couple of Lincoln County linebackers making stops, too. Quarterback sneak, actually just kind of a fall down at right guard by Wright Mitchell of Lovett High School, and the ball game should end right there. All right, 17-14 the final, the North the winner. For John Dewberry, Larry Munson, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long from Bobby Dodd Stadium. See you next year.